Hey, this is Yarrow here from yarrow.tv and the entrepreneurs-journey.com blog. It's, it's hot, hence singlet. Uh, it's it's uh, summer in Australia here down down under, as you guys overseas would call us. So um, uh, if I keep doing these videos, no doubt I'll be wearing more clothes in about three months' time. But at the moment, it's, it's probably about 30 degrees outside, and that's too hot for wearing much clothes. I'm not going to go as far as... Uh, doing the topless show on this video that channel just yet. Anyway, so um, yesterday you might recall I was talking about how I've been doing some outsourcing to the Philippines. So uh, it's Sunday today and uh, yesterday being Saturday I was doing a bit of work and uh, in the evening I actually sent a, a project to one of the guys I'm testing to see whether he can potentially become a, a web designer uh, video person. Uh, it's an interesting job. I, I'm trying to do what you might call it, the profit hacks uh, system that uh, Pete Williams with uh, Rich Sheffrin helping to popularize it uh, does. It's essentially making a higher leverage use of all the content you produce. At least that's the part of the system I'm trying to focus on at the moment, which is essentially taking content like this and, and the articles I publish to my blog and the interviews I do on my podcast and, and everything I produce online and getting it repurposed in different media formats. So. One of the roles I'm looking to hire is a, a video editor. Now, it doesn't need to be someone who is incredibly good at uh, high production value videos, but at least can put together nice, uh, not necessarily slideshow presentations, but certainly uh, that type of video. And what I'm looking to do is take a written blog post and convert it into a video, which will go on this, this channel you're watching right now, yarrow.tv. At YouTube and the idea is just taking the, the written content putting together a, a slideshow type presentations and some visual content to go with the written word and obviously there'll need to be an audio version of uh, the article to go along with the video so for this test I sent him I basically got my most recent article on my blog at least the most written most recent written one which was about um, trends in 2013 or the most important trend in 2013 coming up next year in just a couple of weeks and I wrote that article, about 2,000 words, and I pretty much just decided to say, this is your test. Here's the article. I'm going to read it out and do an audio version, which is what I did. It took me about 13 minutes. It's a 13-minute audio for a 2,000-ish word article. And sent it along to him. Uh, and the idea is that I, I want him to turn to something really amazing so that I know from the future, every time I publish an article, we can put a really nice video version of it up here on YouTube as well for those who prefer to watch and or listen to the content and not read, which is certainly some people. It's actually funny, um, my dad, who I saw on Friday night for dinner, he subscribes to my newsletter, which is quite uh, quite silly sometimes because he'll often pop in after, after getting a newsletter and sort of say, hey, I, I saw your article on this or something like that. And, and he, he's not exactly... Um, into internet marketing to the level where he you know knows everything going on in the space but he reads my newsletter so he he can ask me questions based on what i'm sending him so in this case when i sent him a video out recently which was my video on how i put together um, my, my presentation for a workshop i attended uh, a few weeks back and it was basically a video on how i do my blog business over the years and you can find it actually it's probably the video a couple of videos before this one now, it was funny because my dad said he didn't watch the video. While he normally reads my articles, when I send my articles to my newsletter, he doesn't watch the video. So I thought that was a really good example of showing how different people really do have different media formats that they prefer to consume. So, you know, right now you're watching this video where you probably don't read my articles, but you're happy to watch me talk in the video. My dad, on the other hand, happy to read my articles, but doesn't want to watch video. He just doesn't like watching a presentation. He might watch this one because it's me, but he's certainly in terms of um, teaching materials and that sort of thing, he, he doesn't want to watch that content, but he loves to read. Um, personally, my, my own choice, if it's education, I actually prefer audio. I, I take podcasts and listen to them whenever I'm traveling in the car and, and out exercising. Uh, so that's my preferred method, especially because I can speed up the audio content and get through a lot more quicker. Uh, my reading speed isn't great, and I, I scan, but even then the comprehension isn't as good as audio, simply because I'm a bit of a captive audience when I do listen to audio, because I'm out and about, and I, I can't be doing something else, where with articles, you know, I could be at home writing an article instead of reading one, so it's, it's a bit of a different situation. Um, so, that's the, the tasks I, I sent to this potential video person, a my article in written word, 
me talking it out in audio format, now go and make it into a, a pretty video. Um, a, we'll see whether he even gets back to me. That's the first test. Will he reply and say, I can do this? And B, will he do it? And what will be the quality? So that's sort of the, the main thing I'm working on with him right now. And hopefully it'll come out pretty well. So uh, that's one of the projects for next year is getting my content repurposed for video, audio, and written, regardless of what format I originally produced it in. Uh, hopefully, obviously, ideally, without me doing it. So I've got a, a team who actually put together that content for me who do a good job. Uh, for, for the audio, I'm not sure whether I'll even do the voiceovers. I mean, we may actually hire someone to just read out my articles and use that for the video as well. We'll see. I don't know how important that is. Uh, it does take me 10 minutes to read out an article, so it's not too long, but I'm not sure whether that's a job I, I want to be doing um, you know, all the time for every piece of content I produce. So we'll have to check it out. Uh, anyways, uh, that's pretty much the focus of uh, this video. I'm continuing to uh, work through my email. Actually, just this morning, Sunday morning, finally uh, cleared the inbox, so there's nothing in there. And it's good to be heading into a new week without any email. Uh, I've got scheduled, hopefully, at least a couple of articles this week, although I'm thinking of doing video this week. I actually want to show um, my, my stand-up table, which is just over here. I want to show you guys how I put it together, so I'm hopefully going to put together a video that uh, shows you that, mainly because people always ask me about my stand-up desk and how I work at it, and I really do. It, it really is. I don't know if you can see it over here. That's uh, that's my stand-up table, and that's essentially where I do most of my sort of everyday work. Where I do my writing, it's usually sitting at a cafe somewhere in Brisbane, and that's, that's where I do my writing. But anyway, that's a future video. I do want to show you how um, that looks, and hopefully it'll be a slightly more polished video than this. I do want to show you the different pieces, pieces of the puzzle to put it together. Anyway, that's it for my Yarrow Daily, and uh, it's Sunday, so I'm going to get out and do something different now that most of the work jobs are out of the way, and maybe uh, get out and do some exercise, some sort of sport or something with my friends. We'll see what happens. Um, that's it for today. Uh, my name is Yarrow Starak. You can catch more at yarrow.tv if you haven't. This is the daily for Sunday. Uh, I think it's December 16. Yes, that's what my calendar says. And um, yeah, I hope you're having a great time in the lead up to Christmas. I'll talk to you on another video very soon. Bye-bye.